Hi, my name is Miriam and this is a vlog created for the Sydney feminists. I'm from Sweden, but I think maybe my story can be relatable to you wherever you're from. I uh, am a feminist and I was in a feminist separatist group in Sweden around 2001-2002 and we were about a dozen feminists most of us educated with we read gender studies and such at university level and we grew tired or frustrated just reading about inequalities between women and men and uh, we wanted to do something about it. So we formed this activist group just for women. And we didn't think of this separatism as a problem. Uh, we didn't ask ourselves, so who, who's a woman? Who belongs in our group? Um, for us, it was very simple. You either were a woman or you weren't. Many of us were gay and some of us were queer, but we all considered ourselves women. And today I think we would have to think more about the issue of gender and about who belongs in a female separatist environment. But maybe if we think about the horrible crimes that are committed to women on a global scale, crimes committed to them just for being women, um, I think it's necessary to call a woman a woman to be able to shed light on these issues. Uh, Maybe none of us are free until all of us are free. And I think we need separatism as a contemporary solution, not a goal, but a contemporary solution to create safe spaces for women. Now, I would say that we used violence as a way to liberation, a sort of smash the patriarchy kind of thinking. And as long as we only used violence on objects, uh, cars that belong to sex buyers, for instance, I was fine with that. But what went wrong, I think, was that we at our meetings would build up a sense of anger and entitlement and self-righteousness that got out of hand eventually. Uh, one of us would go out and just beat up men for only that reason. They were men and therefore guilty. And I admit, I, I took pleasure in the idea that men should suffer as women had suffered through history, a sort of poetic justice. Today I can easily call myself a pacifist. I hate violence and even though things got out of hand and we were just too young and angry to perhaps make real change instead of just doing things that made ourselves feel good I think of that time and I think about what we stood up for and uh, that's still important today and that of course is sisterhood justice equality and uh, more sisterhood. Bye.